Hello again, it's Christy. And I do. We're vlogging for the Qualitative Election Study of Britain election night special, keeping you occupied while the results are coming in. And our um, next to last, our penultimate leader that we're going to be examining is Natalie Bennett, leader of the Green Party for England and Wales. So most of people's associations with Natalie Bennett were, really came from two primary places, it seemed. She'd given a, a rather disastrous interview before the campaigns really kicked off, but mm -hmm. people were aware of that in our focus groups, and it did come up. And then the rest of her impressions seemed to come out of her debate performances. So in terms of people's positive impressions, what were their positive impressions of Natalie? Well, some people actually did feel that she came across as confident, um, caring, open, she did come across as capable to some people, and well-meaning. Right. In terms of the neutrals, what people associated with her was things like blinded by good intentions, sometimes not articulate, nondescript. Then we also had, as we saw with uh, Leanne in the last video, who came up. She was not mm -hmm. as well known as the other leaders that, were, um, that we've asked about. And her being Australian again came up. So different from English again was, was pointed out. Yeah. In terms of negative associations, and this is where the disastrous interview was brought up quite a few times, um, that she had no charisma on stage. She presented poor arguments, unrealistic policies. Um, she was She came across as weak. Unfortunately, some people even said useless, not dependable and irrelevant. Yeah. I think one of the things that characterizes Natalie is that she didn't, although she had mentioned some of the green policies, people felt like she wasn't quite up to the level of connecting specific policies to problems that were facing the population. So although there was a lot of aspirational talk and a lot of idealism, the fact that things weren't costed, the fact that things weren't brought down to a, a more specific policy level that people would see in their lives was made her not as credible and not as serious as some of the other leaders. That's right. Do we have anything else to say about Natalie Bennett? That's kind of it. I mean, when our participants don't have as much to say, we don't either. <laughs> so, but we'll have a lot to say next time because next time we're going to be talking about Nigel Farage. Yes, and we'll see the other most polarizing uh, plus and minuses in a party leader. Uh, a lot of interesting characterizations of Nigel, so you can look forward to that in an hour. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye.